G'day there guys, Elfie here. Um, I know I said in my blog I was not going to do anything whiz bang and new until I finished my cell, but um, I had a thought about this. I better turn off night time, otherwise you're not going to be able to see what's happening. Um, I had a thought about this last night and thought about a really good way of teaching contour maps. Um, so I'm just going to do a contour map for this small um, top of this mountain here. I'm not going to do it for the whole mountain. Um, and the way I figured we could do this is if we walked around on this level here, placing a bit more lag, um, placing blocks as we went on that level, so we just get a line. Um, I will probably speed this up so you guys don't have to watch the whole lot. Okay, so that's that's the first layer done. So if I fly right up, you can see the start of the contour map for just that section of the mountain. So now if I come back down, now normal contour maps have a bit of a, a rise between the contour lines. So that was on this level here. Um, so if we go up, say, three blocks, and we run another contour line around here. Again, I'll probably speed this up, so I'll be back in a second and it'll be done. Okay, so there's the second layer done, and you can see if we go right above it, you can sort of start to see the contour lines. So if we down to a third layer, so we went, was it three? One, so that was the level one, two, and then the third. So it was level one, two, and then the third. So this layer here. So again, I'll speed it up, I'll be back in a second. Trees, of course, may be may cause you some problems. So, if you do plan on doing this, I suggest you uh, pick a mountain without trees or clear all the trees off. Or you could build your own mountain, of course. Um, put that back. Okay, and so that's another layer of my contour map done. Um, so now we'll do another one, so was one, two, and then the third, so I'll just, again, this may already be sped up, but uh, I'll speed it up and see you when it's finished. Okay, so that's my contour map, all done and complete. Now. I'm hoping that the kids will be able to from this. My goal is, I think contour maps, as I said in my blog, contour maps I think are, are a very difficult concept to get because you can't walk up the hill that you just that you were just given the contour maps for, at least not within an hour session. Um, what I'm hoping this will do is it will enable kids to actually see what the contours mean. So that's only part of the project here. I've got my contour contours all drawn out um, and then we would jump out of Minecraft Edu and I've got um, this program here called Minutor. Um, there are others um, which then allows you to bring that up as a map. Now I'm going to have to pause the recording here and come back because that's actually on the server not on my computer so I'll be back in just a second. Okay welcome back. <laughs> Uh, it took me a little bit longer than I thought, but that map should now be in my Minecraft save files. I could have just put it somewhere and I could have accessed it, but Minutor is now open. I'm going to open the Contour Maps world, and you can see, if I zoom in there a little bit, there is actually a contour map there ready to go that the kids can actually see. Um, they've just built that contour map in the Minecraft world and then we can actually bring that map to them and they can then print this off. Um, so that's my plan for teaching contour maps. Um, I say it was just a thought I had last night while I was while I was trying to sleep. Um, some of my best, best thinking happens while I'm asleep. Um, but if you think, can think of a better way of doing it or something that's better than that, um, please, please let me know because that's just, like I say, that was just a, 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 again, like a proof of concept. I just wanted to test it out and thought I'd um, record and have a chat to you while I was doing it. 
Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Um, subscribe for more stuff like this. And thanks. See you next time.